Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share my ILP experience that are provided by TCS and also I'm going to share about all the important aspect of ILP. Like first aspect I'm going to share is the duration of ILP for both a ninja and digital candidate in 2023. And apart from this, what are the things you are going to learn in ILP? What are the things you are required to do before ILP? All the stuffs I am going to talk about in detail. So stay tuned in this video till the end. Let's get started. So at first I am going to talk about the duration of ILP for both Ninja and Digital Candidate. I am going to talk about with the help of examples. At first I am going to take an example of Digital Candidate who is my friend, joined thesis this year. So his duration of ILP is just 10 days. Talking about my duration of ILP is just 14 days. And talking about another friend of mine, duration of ILP is 21 days. So the duration of ILP is totally depend on business requirement. So talking about Ninja candidate, same as usual depends on business requirement but the duration of ILP for digital candidate is quite short time and for the ninja candidate is for long duration. The duration may be for a ninja candidate to 3 to 6 month and 14 days or 1 month also. It totally depends on business requirement. But in 2023 uh, what I observe is uh, the duration of ILP for Ninja candidate is kind of long and duration of ILP for digital candidate is kind of short. For digital candidate it goes up to one month only and for Ninja candidate it goes up to six months. So yeah. Apart from this, uh, what is the importance of uh, IP you have given in the ILP? Like after the ILP everyone has to go through PRA. You have heard that project readiness assessment. So whether I have gone through the PRA or I have not gone through the PRA, let's see. So what happens is uh, all the digital candidates which are joined in 2023 up to July don't have to go through PRA whether they have given IPA or not. I have scored 80% in IPA. So getting 80% in IPA is not really important for PRA. It really don't matter whether you have to give a PRA exam or not. So what the case is and what the scenario is, uh, in my batch, many of the digital candidates also joined with me and many of the digital candidates haven't appeared IPA yet. Despite that, they have not attempted any PRA. There is no PRA for digital candidate. And talking about one of my friend joined one month later from me, has to go through PRA exam. He has scored 80, uh, above 80% 80 in IPA, but has to go through PRA exam. And his duration of ILP is 21 days. So PRA is also depends upon the rules and regulations they are changing day by day. And talking about Ninja candidate, there is a must of PRA exam. Uh, you don't rescue from the PRA exam if you score 80% in IPA. There is no mandatory term of IP in PRA. The IP is just for incentive purpose. If you score 80%, you will get 60,000. If you score less than 80%, like 50 from 55 to 80, you will get 40,000. And below that, you will, did not get any. And all the incentive you will get in first month only. So these all are the aspect of IP and PRA in ILP duration. Apart from this, talking about my uh, ILP journey in like accommodations and all. So TCS, have, TCS haven't provided any accommodation to me. Uh, TCS provide accommodation to the Chennai, Hyderabad students who are joining in Chennai and Hyderabad whose ILP location and uh, working location are different. For those candidates, TCS will provide accommodations and foods and all. But for me in the case, whose uh, ILP location and uh, work location are same, TCS will not going to provide any accommodation. 
so these are the aspect of accommodation so let's jump into what are the things required for ilp in ilp session there are basically two type of sessions first is bis skill session and second is technical skill session they mostly focus on bis skill not on technical terms and all so in bis skill what they do is uh, they will catch you and tell you to talk about this topic talk about these scenarios and all they will catch you as a team and they will provide you some topic to talk about that so in all 14 days or 21 days duration they are mainly going to focus on biskill sessions where they will talk about the important aspect of speaking how to speak in a corporate environment how to write an effective emails and all how to work as a team how to tackle any scenario they will basically focus on this type of scenarios and they will take each uh, they will take each and every scenario and based on that scenario they will take a class of whole candidates so these are the aspect of biz skill let's talk about the aspect of technical skills so mainly they are going to teach you java or python what you have chosen and also uh, many of the python candidate have to go through a java classes and many of the java candidates have to go through python classes it's not up to you also apart from this they will also going to share a knowledge about one of the database language like sql so it is really important to have a basic knowledge of sql java or python before you start with ilp because it is not going to be easy for you to tackle the ilp so yeah talking about my scenario uh, i have experience of sql and java before the ilp session so it is kind of easy for me to tackle the scenario after 10 days they had provided a case study scenario like a project you have to build what they have told what they have teached you based on that so it in my case the project is totally depend on java and sql knowledge so in my case there are five teams in my team member two are from python background and three are from java background so you know that if you don't have a basic knowledge of java or python you don't able to create the project what they have provided you but it is totally fine your other team members are there they can create for you so it is totally fine for you so two of my team member who belongs to the python background they actually don't have to do anything all the things uh, are done by three of the members and also what happens in my scenario is one of my team member from java background has fallen sick on that day so only two of member only two of the members have to create uh, that project and we have created that project in just two days and then we have submitted that project and based on that they have given some numbers to you so that they can release you from the ilp session if the ilp is not up to the mark for you they will extend your ilp so please keep it on your mind but it is not like uh, you have to give your 100% in ilp you can give your 60% in ilp that is a uh, fine but if you are giving your 30% is uh, 30% in ilp you are not completing any courses which they are providing so you are not going to release from the ilp so that is a kind of scenario in the ilp so in the ilp time on the last day uh, they had checked our project like what we have created whether our project is working fine or not so apart from this they have asked question to each and every a team member and every team members are ready to answer what what they are asking so like it is kind of basic project uh, if you have basic knowledge of java and python or sql you can query like that if you have any query regarding all the tcs journey from interview to joining to project you can comment in the comment section i'm always there to answer your comment so yeah i'm wrapping this video over here signing off